So oh this, this other question is... Your gum's, there. Your gum's right there, too. From one of our older listeners, he says that he's turning 43 this weekend. Happy birthday, oh, King. Oh, we missed this one. This one was someone submitted. And I oh, yeah, we'll get to that, man. Okay. Uh, he's Canadian, lives in Vancouver, where there are lots of Asians... Uh, Just though, read, read although, it. no, 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 it's way too long. Though Vancouver Asians have a reputation for being snobby. Anyway, my topic submission is one, interracial dating, specifically the guy being Asian. Two, when you rely on being under the influence for sex and when you got to remember what sober sex is about. He's happily married with three kids and enjoys listening to us. Wish I had some cool Asian buddies like you guys back in my younger days. Shout out you, King. Love you. But uh, yeah, let's start with interracial dating as an Asian guy. I would say I would say for Asian guys, like date every race, just because, uh, yeah, f- you know, just more pool. I think for and everyone, spread your seed, yeah, man. That just goes for everybody. Do it for the it's Asian like brothers, having an ethnic preference is just highly limiting to yourself. And I don't know, like really ask yourself what it is that makes you not prefer a certain race. It's probably something stupid. So uh, yeah, I mean, maybe you just live in an area where there's only one type of person. That's what it was like for me early on, yeah. which is why I thought I was into a certain Also, type. I think for Asian guys specifically, most Asian guys feel like they can only get Asian girls. And I understand I grew up the same way as you and I felt like that for a while. But, you know, there, it's not true, especially nowadays. It's not true. So if you uh, if you got cuffed before this wave of BTS and K dramas, I feel sorry. For you. <laughs> my my dad, my pops was just straight up like a racist. So like he would literally, he used to tell me growing up, he's like, if you bring like a white girl or a black girl home, I would disown you. I, I've heard I that. never understood it. Yeah, no, I've heard that just because yeah. it's just a cultural thing. Yeah. I mean, every country is racist. And I I, I used to like argue back with them. I'm like. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like I can't control who. And this is I'm like 15, so I was like, well, what if I fall in love with like a black girl or a white girl and I bring her home? You're just like I'm not your son anymore. He's like, yeah. He's like, what are you talking about, bro? Shut up. <laughs> I mean, your dad doesn't sound like a very yeah. But your dad person. is not a, a good example uh, yeah, of how to behave, stupid, anyways. But, but even even my mom, like she, my mom's not the same wavelength as like you can't bring a girl home but she always tells her i would prefer you to bring like a vietnamese girl home it's the same and it's the same with my mom same with my mom she would prefer she would never stop me from dating somebody but she's of course going to prefer a korean girl Mm. because it's just if you think about a marriage right back in the day it's the amalgamation of two families you're not the only one affected by the marriage so she's going to now have in-laws and everything that she's not going to be able to connect with because of complete diff- cultural differences. It's easy no. for you because you're both American, but for the parents, it's a little bit harder. So I understand why they prefer it. What's up? Do you guys feel that when you date somebody that's not just like a prototypical American white girl, that there's more connection or does it matter to you? I have never seriously dated a prototypical American white girl, so I don't know. Okay. That's a good question. Because um, I would say that like I connect more with people that have a bit of a multicultural background. doesn't have to yeah. be Asian, but multicultural background. I, I connect with more. Well, what are we talking about? So, like like uh, prototypical white, like... Just like eat, American white, like, you know... Just a white just, girl. Just, just a white up, girl. Grew up in America. Eat, eat burgers oh, every day. I, no, I'm not <laughs> saying like, burgers every yeah, day. Yeah, I love like a picky eater, you know what I'm saying? Like, like there's all the traits of an American white girl that, you know, like... like yeah, just grew, just grew up in, you know, average family, middle class America, yeah. nothing really crazy, just... Both parents still together. Yeah, like... Fucking, she calls her I, mom I, by her I first t- name. I tend to notice they're, uh, they're a little boring. Yeah, exactly. Uh, most of the time, they're they're a little boring. Yeah. Well, so on that same note, would you guys date someone outside of your religion? Because, like, for me, my parents don't care so much about race, but they really hope that I would marry a Jewish. It girl. all depends on how they You're act. You're Jewish? About it. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It all it all depends on how they act about it. Like, if if I were to date like a like a Christian girl, and every single day she was just like. You should become Christian. I would <laughs> look at him and be like, shut the fuck up. Right. We'll get him one day. We'll get him <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> right. Uh, I would, I would uh, never, obviously, you guys know my answers. My parents are super religious. My mom is super religious. So, like, they want me to marry somebody that is religious. But I do not give two shits about that because uh, right. I've met people that are not religious and are probably better humans than me. Uh. So, Well, on the same token that you asked, do you think that you would connect more with someone who is on the same religious wavelength as you versus not? Uh, I would like someone that's at least spiritual to a certain degree because well, that's what you I... You said same religious wavelength. But I'm not on a, like my yeah, religious... Just whatever my that religious is. Same whatever you wavelength. are. Oh, just, yeah. Well, yeah, whatever just I am. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah of course. Then you can... Sure. Because imagine every time like you believe in like manifestation or something, and you're like, oh, like or divine intervention. And you're like, look at this magical thing that happened. They're like, and well, that makes no it, sense. Yeah. That, that's exactly. just not possible. I'd be like, okay, whatever. Just. Mm-hmm. I think 100. I think anyone you date, there's core values you want to align on, which is like, mm-hmm. you know, so number I think, one being your spirituality. I think low key, I one. 
I mean, I'm not saying any which way or the other, but does that translate to race? Like, if it's so conclusive with religion, does that translate to race? Like, you guys can very conclusively say that you want to date someone that's on the same religious or mental wavelength no, as you. No, because you you don't choose your race, but you choose your religion. No. That's a great, okay, yeah. that's a great answer. Yeah. You don't choose your, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so she's a 10, but she's super into crystals. No. Like, super no, into I don't, the, I don't like, with that astrology. Yeah, or astrology, but she's, but like the perfect girl. But like, so that's the difference, right? It's like some. Well, exactly. You have, I have my, I have my criteria that needs to be filled, right? And it's somebody that is what, that's like almost the opposite of what I am looking for. You know what I mean? But that then, so earlier the question, and maybe you didn't answer, but you said you don't really care if they don't have the, you'd like them to have the same religious belief, the spiritual, whatever belief no, no, it is. I, I think that's an important care. thing for me, is oh, being it. on so the they, same religious wavelength, yeah. Got it. Okay, so even if they were perfect in every way, but you had different religious... Well, I, I also believe that people can change, and I think that, yeah, so I would I would try it, and then if I see that, like, okay, there's no there's no alignment here, then, then I'm leaving, yeah. She just, you wake up and she's like waving sage around you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, yeah, a lot of it has to do with how much they're trying to impose that on you. Like, yeah. sure, I'm not into astrology, yeah. but would it be a com total deal breaker if the girl I was into liked it and it was kind of a thing she did on the side and it was something that gave her, you know, attention and she was interested, but never really yeah, talked is, to me it about it or never pissed me off about it. Like, I wouldn't really care. I wouldn't think differently of them for even just believing in it. Like, I can admit that I believe in certain things that I don't expect everyone to believe around me that I would not you for thinking I'm crazy to believe similar to that so if she's not trying to impose all that shit on you guys then what about you for astrology no no yeah or any crystals religion, astrology yeah, just religion um I mean like like she you calls said, you top munch you know like everything you I'd want she gives her. you a vape she right when you wake up mommy yeah, yeah. I'd wife her <laughs> um she's like top munch come here okay mom <laughs> <laughs> Like like you said, if if they don't like try to push it on me, fine, whatever. But it's like, would you nah, think so like no, differently like of no. someone? Like, would huh? you think differently of them though? Yes. Like, if, yeah. I would think of them as lesser. It's just it's just how they <laughs> act. Like for astrology, the reason I don't like astrology people is like most of the time they'll fucking use that shit and just right. be annoying about it. Right. Which is annoying. Or they try to like put you in a bucket right off of meeting yeah, you off of a like, birthday. Bro, shut and up. Go, oh, I knew you were this, so that makes sense. I'm just like, that's just not possible. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that happen in your environment that shape right. who you are. It's like, that's not, yeah, what you said. It's just your mental There's, there's been times where it's like literally like I like I got in a car crash one time and my ex was like, oh, it's because Mercury's in retrograde right now. And you're like, oh, oh, ve vehicles oh. are very dangerous for you right now. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah. My mom would do shit like that. Nah. Like I'd, 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 I'd lose my keys or so. I'd be frantically searching for something and she'd be like, did you pray to God? I'm like, I'm, so then I'd be like, I, in my head, I'm like, I'm purposely not going to pray to God. I'm going to find these keys. And then I'd find <laughs> yeah, them and I'd be like, yeah. and she'd be like, oh. I was still God, by the way. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was just like, absolutely not. I'm oh, being serious. That, that was. Yeah, that was. yeah. She always get me with the checkmate. So <laughs> Aaron's eyes are darting around at you. He's like, you, oh, you, for real, for real? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like this for real, for real. He's but a religious God freak. Don't got time. Yeah, yeah. God don't got time to there help was, you find the keys. There was one time. God is in all of us. <laughs> yeah, but he, that's not what he's, he's for. He's helping you. Don't that's worry. That's not what he's for. But anyways, it's number not, two question yeah, was, when you rely on, this one doesn't really make sense. When you rely on being under the influence for sex and when you got to remember what sober sex is about. You just got a no, problem, that does man. Make sense. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this question. That's why I don't understand it either. Yeah, what I think he's saying is, is he's had drunk sex so many times for so long now that that's the default that he doesn't even remember what sober sex is like or how to get back to that point. Or maybe it's like having the confidence to get laid without alcohol. But he's got kids. Maybe that, wait, wait. No, wait he's saying the question. that this is not. This is not. I don't think this is. Um, oh, he says he's happily married with three kids. Yeah, I don't think this is about him though. Oh, it's the yeah, he it's didn't put a period. Like, it's like a he didn't space yeah, this yeah, out. Yeah. Reread it. So, I don't understand this question. Let's just let's just move past this question. Yeah, all right. sense. Hey, take your right. time when you guys write these things. We got we, <laughs> we we're not the smartest people as you could tell. <laughs> so that was a clip from our podcast under the influence. You can find the full episode linked below in the description. And we're giving away fifty dollars every single week. All you got to do is leave a five star review on any platform, screenshot it, and text it to the number on the screen.